Hi, and welcome to the brand new episode of Home Assistant running on Synology in Docker. Today we are going to install Sonar. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Task for today is to install Sonar. Let's say that we are just continuing our previous installations where we already installed two types of the media servers. One was Plex and the other one was Ambi. And also we installed Torrent Download Client and Radar for tracking movie releases. Today we will be installing Sonar. What Sonar does, it allows you to track TV shows, to see their release schedule, and of course to also manage your local media library, if you have one. I personally do not use neither Sonar or Radar, but I find them as a nice additions to Home Assistant system, especially if you have already a big network attached storage, such as Synology. So let's quickly install it. First thing what we have to do is we have to open our PuTTY. And let's double click the name of the server. Let's log in. Let's go into the volume one. Here we have media folder. Let's go inside media folder. And we already have folder download, movies and TV. If you do not have download folder inside your media folder, you can create one by just typing mkdir and then download. It will fail because I already have it. Let's clear this. Let's also, when we are already here, check our ID once again. Let's type ID. And as you can see, my user ID is 1026 and my group ID is two, uh, 100 on 100. We'll have to take note of that because we will need it later. And while we are already here, let's create for our Sonar Docker folder for permanent files. Volume 1, Docker, Sonar. I think I already created it, so I will probably receive error, but no problem with that. Yeah, it's created. Okay. Let's proceed with the typing of the command to download and install Sonar. So once again, we will start with sudo super user do docker run name will be sonar double r. We will be using net host. I will be typing here port number also, but it doesn't matter because we are using a host network. If you want, you can skip this. Next thing I want to declare is environment variable for my time zone. So this will be E time zone equals Europe. Zagreb. Next environment or variable will be will be my user ID and next one will be group ID. So it's E P U I D equals one zero two six and Environmental variable for the group ID will be PGID equals 100. Next thing that we want to do is we want to attach volumes. First thing that we want to do is attach where we want to keep our configuration file. So it will be volume, volume one, docker, sonar. with the internal folder config. Next is the folder that we want to keep our TV shows. So it will be volume one, media, TV. And we want to connect it with the internal folder TV. Notice the difference. I myself named my folder locally with the capital letters, but inside the container, it has to be named with the small letters. So do it like this. 
And third thing that we want to define here is where our downloads are kept. And that's why we created a separate downloads folder. So it will be volume one, media, downloads, with the internal folder, downloads. Before we download image and install it, we also need to define that we want to restart, always. And as I said, last part of the command is Linux server and the name of the image we want to download is Sonar. Let's go to the beginning. I forgot to put one command. We need to start this in a detached terminal, daemon mode. So we have to put minus ITD in front and now we can press enter. And Sonar should be now up and running. Let's go to the container. In container, let's go to containers and let's search for Sonar and it's up and running. Let's check the logs. More or less everything is okay. Let's open up Sonar web page. It's on the IP address of the Synology with the port 8989. And this is the web page of the Sonar. We should now go to settings and let's configure our download client. Let's press plus here. We have Deluge. Let's type here Deluge. Localhost will be our IP address of the Synology server. Password for Deluge. Let's leave everything as is. Let's press here test. Testing succeeded. If you receive here error saying that you need to enable category, what you have to do is you have to go to Deluge. And in Deluge you have to go to Preferences, Plugins and Enable Label, if you didn't already enable it before. Let's press Apply. OK. So let's go back to Sonar. In Sonar let's press Save. And we now have Deluge enabled. Let's see what other settings we have here. Media management, rename episodes. Let's select uh, season folder format will be season. Yes, we can leave this as is. Also, let's leave this as is. This will be OK. Profiles, let's leave them as is. Quality, OK. Indexers, you should probably add indexer. As I'm not using them, I will not be adding them. Download client, we have selected connections. You should create a connection for your Plex Media Center. You can also create to the MB. Let's enable this. Okay, let's save it. General settings port is OK. URL, leave this for now. API key, this is the API key of the Sonar. We will be needing this in a Home Assistant, so let's copy it. Save this. User interface, first day of the week is Monday. And I want it in format like this. Like this. Like this. This safe. Okay. At this point, Sonar is installed and it is configured, more or less. And now that you configure it, how you add series, you go here, you press plus add a series, you search for something, for example, Mandalorian. It will find it. You can select path where you want to download your series. Do you want to Download everything that's missing, all, only future episodes, only existing episodes, last season, first season, none. Select the quality, select what type of series it is, and if you want to have it in a season folder or not. You just press plus and it's added to the queue. 
and here you would of course also be able to see upcoming episodes in episode tracking. So Sonar is now up and running. Let's go to the Home Assistant. In Home Assistant it's pretty simple. All you really have to do is add two lines inside your sensor CML file. So let's go to Configurator. Let's open our sensors file. And at the bottom of the sensors file, or for example, just after radar, let's add sonar. So let's add following platform. And this should be sonar. We have to add API key. And of course, we will be adding it at the secret file. Let's call this Sonar API. We can define host. And it's the same IP address that we are using for our Synology. So it's 192.168.1.201 for me. And more or less, this is it for the component to work. But of course, you have also possibility to, to track specific conditions. So let's add a couple of monitored conditions, same as we did with radar. So it's monitored conditions. And let's start typing all those conditions that we want to track. This should be series. This option should give you a list or number of all the series you are tracking inside Sonar. Upcoming. Upcoming is tracking number of upcoming episodes wanted. This will give you number of episodes that you are still looking for that are on your wanted list. Q. And disk space. Disk space. Q will be giving you information about how many episodes are currently in the queue and disk space of course tracks the available disk space. Next thing that we can add as an option is days, meaning how many days to look ahead for the upcoming sensor. One is default, so let's add here days, five for example. There are a couple more options. One is, for example, to use SSL for connection. The other one is to recalculate disk space. For example, you can convert it from gigabytes to megabytes or to terabytes, depending on what are you interested in. Also, there is option to include some additional paths when you are calculating disk space. But this one should be more than sufficient for us. Let's press save. Next thing for you, what you have to do is you have to go to the secrets file and add your sonar API key inside the secrets file. After you've added your sonar API to the secrets file, let's go to configuration, server control, check configuration, and let's restart our server. And our server is back online. Okay, let's go to overview and to media. And let's add here our sonar. Configure UI. And let's press plus. And let's start adding sonar sensors. Let's start with the series number. Upcoming, wanted, you, disk space, and let's call this sonar and remove toggle. Let's press save. 
when you start adding your shows or series you want to track, you will start receiving here notifications. Same as we are currently having it with the radar. If you are into home media and you're interested in your own media server, those three add-ons for Plex and for Envy allow you to download what you want and also track your movies and your tra track your own TV shows or TV series. One potential issue you could, for example, have is the issue with the permissions. But as I said earlier a couple of times, this all depends on what your setup looks, what kind of device you are using, what version of Synology DSM you are using, and this has to be resolved case by case. This is it for today's episode of Home Assistant running on Synology inside the Docker. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, as always, you can leave it down in the comments section. If you still haven't subscribed, Please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates and I will be seeing you next video. Until then, bye bye and have fun!